Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energo and today we bring you my review of the Transformers, the movie 2007, the Lux class, Landmine. And here he is in all of his uh, military glory. Check out those details, these decals like this uh, American flag. And these are units, I believe that says G2G534. I have no idea what that stands for, but it's there. And as you can tell, this is part of the uh, Sector 7. And a funny thing about this vehicle, and I'll talk about these uh, burnt off parts in a second. But uh, this vehicle, well this character landmine was not in the movie, but this vehicle mode was. This was used by uh, Sector 7, which was the, um, what was it? It was the government organization that was in charge of uh, the Transformers. So yeah, this is, was a Sector 7 uh, assault buggy, as it's called, but... The vehicle that this is actually based off is a Chenoth DR2. Although, albeit this is a military assault buggy, military version of that buggy. Gas cans. And up here you have his weapon, which uh, pops off. And he can hold it in his uh, robot mode hand. Which is this uh, grenade launcher. Also, if you look really closely inside, you see these actual seats. The seats in this vehicle mode are actually the robot mode's hands, which is kind of cool, but a pain to transform back into into his uh, vehicle mode. Also, I might as well bring it up. The reason why this is all burnt off is that when I got this figure, I got him in a, uh, in a, I won him in an auction, or I bought him fairly cheap in a pack with two other figures. And the seller uh, said that this was supposed to be like custom battle damage. Which, I will say, these uh, shadowed off parts, I actually do like in this scraping. I like that kind of battle damage, but when he burned it off here, I think that was a bit much. But, eh, it looks cool for what it is. Um, I got, in that one pack, it was uh, Skyhammer, which was uh, brand new, complete. This guy, which was complete, but has the custom, the custom battle damage. And then a third figure, which I will be reviewing soon enough. So, that has been Landmine. And what more can I say? It's a pretty cool. Uh, oh, one cool thing he has is that this kid, this uh, vehicle mode has suspension. So yeah, well, that's more of uh, the surface, but he actually has uh, spring suspensions, which is kind of neat. So enough, enough about that. Let's get on with his uh, transformation. So first, break this. Well, not break it, but you go there, and then you fold. Yep, yeah, there we go. We'll fold it, fold it down, and separate. Lower this can gas can down, lower that one down, lower these two things down. And there's a bit of an automorph when you pull this down, it moves this in. Excuse me. Then you come here. It's kind of a weird thing, but you can slide, you slide the wheels, and then roll it down, and it will click into place. And... Well, this is actually a pretty sturdy uh, clip, and this moves as part of the foot. Same on this side, go in here, slide it over, and move it down. There, now you have his uh, lower legs. So then, for the head, for the upper body, you go in here, go in here, and whoops, there's his uh, robot mode head. There we go, attach back on. Oh, here we go. You can you extend these wheels out, and you pull out what will be his arms, and these will spring out. So same thing here. Pull it out, and spring it out, and then you pull out what what are his arms, and this I guess is the second automorph. These uh, are on springs, so they pop into place when they're not holding the uh, arm pa arm doors. So then fold out the arms, fold out well, fold out the hands. Let's see, rotate a bit, fold out, fold out, rotate hands. Then come in here, and then you take this entire assembly and bring it down. Well, make sure you have clearance. And bring it down, and it'll click into place. And also this panel will uh we can do whatever here. I like having it like that. And and he seems to be almost done, but the last step would be to come into his hands and pull out his uh, very, very sharp claws. 
which is very it's more of more of a Decepticon trait than an Autobot, but yeah, he's an Autobot with really sharp claws. Go figure. Okay. So, here is Landmine in his robot mode. And he's pretty neat. I like him. He's a pretty solid figure. Uh, not many complaints, really. Uh, well, kind of a weird choice for these claw hands. I like it, but why would these go on, a dis on an Autobot? Also, let's take a closer look at his head. And this was the other thing I didn't like about him, about the person I bought this from uh, doing these burn marks. It is a pretty cool effect of battle damage, but... <sighs> I personally don't like it. I, I, like paint, I don't mind, but actual burning the plastic, that, that's a bit too far. But here's his uh, robot mode head, which kind of looks like a hockey mask. Or... Uh, like, hockey is the first thing that's coming to my mind, but this also could look like... Um, mm, yeah, there we go, baseball. Yeah, a catcher's, uh, a catcher's mask. That, that's what it looks like. Yeah, la Landmine uh, plays baseball. So, oh, and like I said, you can actually pop off the uh, grenade launcher. Pop off the grenade launcher. And you can actually hold it in his hand. Just open this up. Slide it in. And said slide it in. And just close it the hand. Well, makes it easier. You can close it in like that. And he's able to hold it. Sort of. Sort of, kind of, maybe. But yeah, he can he can hold it. So there. His own uh, grenade launcher, he can hold it. Although I kind of like him having it in the back like as a shoulder-mounted thing. I have a, I have a real big... Uh, I give a real big plus to, try to, to figures and characters that have shoulder-mounted weapons like this. Uh, so yeah, he's a pretty solid figure. Might as well go to articulation. Arms, do that. These are on ball joints. Hinges and then ball joints. Ball joints, ball joints, these are also on ball joints, and head is on a ball joint, and ball joints do what ball joints do. Then we have really nice knee, more for transformation. The leg, can, the foot can move forward and back, and can do a really nice kick. And not really much else to say, he's a, he's a nice little figure. Like, disregard this, this damage on him, like I said, he came with him when I got him. But he's a nice figure. Like I said, the only weird thing I would say is that why does he have sharp claws? Doesn't really fit, doesn't seem right for an Autobot to have sharp claws outside of, you know, Beast Wars. So, yeah, this is a landmine. Let's see what else I can say. What else can I say about him? Um, he was repainted twice in Revenge of the Fall, and he was repainted into Armor Hide, which I think is a uh, greener color. And he was also repainted again in Dark of, in Dark of the Moon with a white uh, with a white uh, paint job as the character Commodore. And oh, if you kind of you, you can't really tell here, but if you you can kind of see, and I think that was because of the whole. Well, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have it much. This character was actually part of the All Sparks power line, so he does have the All Spark electric blue here, 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 here. here. So, I thought that, um, what was the character? I thought Stockade had the least amount, but I forgot that he was part of the line, and he actually has even less All Spark Blue. I don't know if that really means anything, but yeah, he has All Spark Blue. Electric Blue, but not too much of it. He does have it in his face, but that's like right behind the mask. So yeah, nice little solid figure. Highly recommended. I actually do like him and, or any of his repaints. Uh... I guess I like this one more because this vehicle mode looks exactly like it does in the movie. And it did show up in the movie. So yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers 2007 movie Deluxe Class Landmine. My name is Composite Energo, signing off. Peace out.